Okay, okay, I'll do a tutorial. But first, let me tell you how I got it working. If you want to skip to the tutorial, you can go to this timestamp here. So the story starts when I got Wii Menu version 1.0 on Dolphin working. I was exploring it, creating a me, checking out the little difference it had. It was great. But a thought appeared ever since I got to run. Can I homebrew it? <laughs> I was curious, so I tried doing it how you would in the latest versions of the Wii menu on Dolphin. Getting the .wad file and installing it through Dolphin. But it didn't show up in the menu, so I started googling and I couldn't find anything? Usually Google has all the answers, how come not this one? So I was on my own. So on July the 28th at 4.09 p.m. I started trying to get the homebrew channel showing up on the Wii menu. I started off by trying to install the first publicly released version of the homebrew channel, Beta 7. I managed to find it and tried installing it on Dolphin, but still nothing showed up. After that, I thought I'd do the OG way to get homebrew running, Twilight Hack. You know, the exploit that used a buffer overflow and Twilight Princess's save data to run wherever you want? Yeah, me neither. I didn't want to go through all of that, so I just threw the idea out of the window and went on to do other experiments with Wii Menu version 1.0. So was that the end of it? Nah, not even close. Three days go by, and I was figuring out how to extract Wii Sports so I can get its file structure to create a mod using Revolution that replaced all the dialogue in Wii Sports Bowling to my voice. A little bit into it, and I randomly remember trying to get the homebrew channel working on Wii Menu 1.0, so I started looking into how to extract WAD files. You see, I theorized that the homebrew channel was not showing up because its banner files weren't getting copied over to the meta folder in the Wii's NAND, so I was trying to get the banner files so I could convert them to how I thought the 1.0 version was displaying channels .met files. Don't ask me what they are, I have no clue. So I extracted them and started figuring out where to put them and what needed to be converted. I thought the banner.bin file was the files needed to show the banner in the menu, so I started trying that. Didn't work. So I looked deeper and, wait a second. What's that? That looks familiar. Uh. So I changed the file extension of the homebrew channel 00, my goodness that is way too long to say, file that I extracted to .met, eventually putting the rest of the homebrew channel studio to where it should be, then BAM! Homebrew channel on Wii Menu version 1.0. Now for the tutorial. Hello, it's me, Editor Corbin here. Anyway, this part is totally unscripted, so um... If I stutter a lot, a lot, sorry, like I just did that there. Anyway, so in the description of the video, you should see a download link to this homebrew channel for Wii Menu 1.0. Download it, and uh, when, when you open it, you should see these three files in it. Go to uh, your Wii's NAND folder. Also, I'd like to mention that... Uh, I only know how to do this on Dolphin, so if you actually have a Wii running version 1.0, uh, sorry, I don't have a tutorial for that specifically, but maybe the Wii modders can, uh, figure that out with the exploit. Anyways, in your Wii's NAND folder for your Dolphin emulator, take these files inside the zip folder and drag them in. Do this for all current items, yes. Copy and replace. Also, you, you shouldn't see that copy and replace pop up because I already put the files in there. And you should see it here. You should see all the data and stuff in there. So, when that's done, open up Dolphin. I'd also like to mention that uh, I fully expect you to already have 
we menu version 1.0 so if you don't do that if you don't have that then uh I can't really help you on that but load up Wii system menu version 1.0 U you press A to continue and you should see the homebrew channel appear right here if not then just check around your menu and see if you can find it if you cannot find it please let me know in the comments I'll try to help you the best that I can anyways launch it and you should see that it will start up yep just like that anyways thank you for watching and I'll see y'all next time